Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CdNO3 2 plus Na2S, cadmium nitrate, and then we have sodium sulfide. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. That's right here. So I can see that I have cadmium, cadmium, two nitrates here, and only one here. Let's put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. That balances the nitrate ions. We have two on each side, two sodiums, two sodiums here, sulfur, sulfur, cadmium, cadmium. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. So compounds with the nitrate ion, they're going to be soluble, so we write aqueous. And compounds with sodium, they're also going to be soluble. Although sulfides in general are insoluble, and cadmium sulfide, that's an insoluble compound. These two substances react. This falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into the ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note that we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So the CDS, the cadmium sulfide, that stayed together. We split all the other stuff apart since it's a strong electrolyte. We have the aqueous here. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So when we look at this, we see reactants on the top, two nitrate ions. On the bottom, the products, two nitrate ions. So those are spectator ions. Get rid of those. Two sodium ions, two sodium ions, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for CdNO3 2 plus Na2S. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for cadmium nitrate plus sodium sulfide. You note that charges are balanced. We have two plus and two minus. That gives us a net charge of zero. Over here, CdS, that's neutral. Net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.